Yo, what's up guys? We're back with another reaction. Today, I somehow stumbled upon like these family channels. This kid did like a rap song and I was like, wait, what? Family channel, looked at the thing. This is like legit. 16 million subscribers? I clicked on one video and I was like, we have to react to this. The way that they interact and the things that they do on camera, I'm like, that's kind of weird and kind of pushing it. That is messed up for the children because I guess like the mom and dad are abusing their power. They know exactly what they're doing. Well, who gets the ad revenue? Does it all go into mommy and daddy's pocket yeah. what if the kid says i don't want to be in this anymore no you can't you can't is it like a cop out to be a children's channel well if you're making this much money is it like all morals because you see examples of it online of you know parents mistreating their kids for views or any sort of online attention like i've seen this lady make their kid cry for the thumbnail things like that where it's like yo you're pushing it so i don't really know if they're pushing it or whatever but i just thought it was interesting because they are a reality show but they put on their own show but i feel like there's multiple channels like this so this is just like one of them so this one's turning our son's bedroom into a candy store and yeah these videos aren't geared towards our audience and towards us, but I think it'll be funny to watch and see what other people are doing, what families are doing to make money and to get views. What? What is all this? You guys turned my bedroom? Oh no, see, okay. That's not a real reaction. We've met a lot of YouTubers and we're just in a space like that, so you know when the camera's on. Oh my goodness! What? We are doing this today and blah, blah, blah. What is it's just very strange to see a young kid doing the train. He trained. went through it. He knows what to do. How do you act with your actual friends? Do you have actual friends? Candy store. Are you guys excited for candy? Yeah. yeah. What's up, Reality Fam? How you all doing today? I have very bad news for you guys. I'm alone in this video. Psych, what's up, y'all? Hopefully, you guys are ready for today because today we're taking our son's bedroom and we're gonna. And they're in the G Wagon, they look rich. Candy store, candy shop, whatever you wanna call it. Right now, our son's bedroom looks like this. It's a nice ass Holy room. Holy It's a nice ass room. The curved TV. We're going to the candy store. We're going to buy so much candy. But before to start with this challenge, we just want to remind you guys about our upcoming giveaway. Once we hit 17 million subscribers, we're going to Bruh. Once you hit 17 million. To spend a full day at the Royalty Palace with us. The Royalty Palace. We need a lot for this store. A lot. A lot. A, a lot more than that. A lot more. A lot more. All of these? Yeah. Okay. Put them in. Put them in. Put them in. Put them in. Guys. Oh, who else likes Sour Patches? Let's go. The music. Ooh. They got my favorite candy. Reese's Pieces. Let's go, baby. Oh my goodness, we're gonna need a bunch of these. Put them in, put them in, put them in. You can say anything as long as you say it with some sort of yep. dramatic expression. Super oh my God, we just got one of these. Throw it in there. Ah. It's exhausting. But it's funny when the grown adults are being like, whoa, yo, look at that. Nice. Then you got the girl, the young girls running around and you have the dad, yeah, you do this, do that, oh. And then, all right, next shot. Next and shot need. go. Ah. This doesn't look anything like a candy store, but it's gonna look amazing in a little bit. And in case you guys are wondering, where's his the eyes are scaring me. Right now, he's gonna get here in a couple hours. We're about to make so much money off this. Surprise. We're gonna invite some customers to come over and shop at the candy store, so don't miss out. Time to start building. Every store needs a banner. Fill it up, babe, fill it up. Fill it all the way up. You wanna know a secret? Yeah. These are Ferran's favorite candy. All right, all right. Keep going, keep going. We can Just saying anything. And how much views did this get? Three mil almost. But yeah, like the kids watching this, this is epic. Why you got three monitors? This family is loaded. Yo. Oh my goodness. This came out being so legit, guys. This is a really good candy store. All right, before we go get Ferran to see his reaction, uh -huh. go ahead and give us a quick little tour. Okay. Let's just start right here. We have a chocolate fountain, so you can go ahead and do like a Don't do it. Lunch. Don't do it. And it's like, do you think they want to be doing this stuff? You're selling your soul to be this other person. As we've seen in this day and age, people will do anything to make as much money as they can. I feel like you can still have a family channel and be like a real family, but I feel like these people are giving them a bad rep. It's almost like a money grab. All you need is some kids and a good ass editor. Crazy colors. What does anything matter if you're rich? Who cares it what doesn't. three dudes and reacting? It 
does it matter at all? At what point does it get not fun? At what point are the reactions too like fake and not real? But then when you see them starting off the intro in the G-Wagon, you're kind of like, we got this far. Wait, Why would you stop? Even us personally, we we can only do certain things for so long. And then it's like, bro, I can't do this anymore. Yep. You try to keep going a little bit more and you're like, that's done. Some people have the ability to just do it forever. They like Blippi, for example. Blippi can blip around for them. It looks like that's yeah. his thing. And but just, even that makes sense though, because that's like a character. He built a character like mm -hmm. this is you guys. If the whole family's having a blast every day doing this, then more power to them. I have an inkling. They set up the whole thing for the kid, right? The kid comes in. It showed that he didn't give us his honest reaction to it. He probably knew who they were filming that today, and they're like, give us a reaction to the thing. You know what to do. Oh my gosh! But what, well, does that, what does that do to the kid? What does though? it do to the kid? Who wants to come too? All right. All right. Before we go into your room, look at that house. Holy, Holy shit! The glass staircase. This is some rich people shit. I can't relate to it because I'm not rich. I'm making a family channel. Would y'all have a family channel if you knew it would make money? I would do it in a better way. I would do it in such a way where I didn't become drained and have to act like a Looney Tune. Okay? I would be more realistic. Mm -hmm. You can still have a fun time on camera and do the thing in a way that's not kids zaboomafu. La la la. The wiggles. Oh, lazy town. Like, do you want to act like the dude from Lazy Town? I don't want to act like that. Give me real quick. You have any idea what the surprise is? Rich ass kid. Your partner just left, by the way. No, no, I have one question. Why is my gaming chair out here? Uh, no questions. Too many wrong. questions. All right. He's just gonna respond answers. What do you okay? think it is? What do you think it is? Um, I think it's um another dog. He's no other dog. You're not even okay? close. All right, close your eyes. Let's Let go. Me his eyes. Close your eyes. You got the freshest fade. Oh. Yeah. Gold chain. They look, they look rich. Jeez. Come on in, don't open your eyes yet. Don't open your eyes yet. All right, on the count of five, open your eyes. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one. Knowing there's a camera right there. It's like, if, even if the kid didn't like it, he's kind of forced to do that. Like, mommy and daddy said to react this way. Mm -hmm. I have to. Mm -hmm. And you've already been doing this channel for whatever, a couple plus years. You know what's coming. How long do you do it? But the other kid ready to go. Once he gets old enough, bet. <laughs> they will be set financially. It, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay, the kid's 12 and he doesn't want to do this anymore. But the parents made enough money for him forever. It's but like I said, is it eight. right though that this is what he had to do? He has no say in this. And to play devil's advocate, someone might go, they're a rich family, the kid's getting everything he could ever imagine. You saw the motherfucking three swivel fucking flat screens. You know, if you're rich, and I'm assuming if I was rich, I want to give them everything and more. However, is there a downside to spoiling your kid? Spoiling and exploiting your kid at the same time. So you believe it's a complete exploitation. It feels weird for it not to be. But that's like I said, he gets reward. Yes, they know they're gonna make money doing this, but he still gets a candy store. Yeah, unless they were making videos before the kids were born and they had a passion for making If they weren't filming this right now, are they giving him this though for a day? Are they doing all these? Well, if they're putting in a fun for him, which I'm assuming they would. You would hope so. With money, they're not worrying about nothing. They have to be set for yes. life. There's the way they, they're acting in the candy store, they don't give a fuck. Right? And they don't, yeah, and they don't give a about what people say either. Like they're gonna keep doing this. They're probably happy to just like buttons turned off. Real quick, we are gonna be FaceTiming one of you guys every week. All you have to do is like this video and leave your Instagram handle, your at, in the comments below. Noah and I are gonna look through all the comments and pick someone to DM and then FaceTime. And the more times you comment your at, the more chance you'll have at us seeing your comment and DMing you. And every week that we do this, we're gonna actually be putting your FaceTime on the video itself with your at username. And in the next few days, Noah and I are gonna go and pick someone to FaceTime. But it's like people like us that just question it like, yeah, and they're not gonna say, yeah, we're exploring our kids for views. No one's gonna say that. Yeah, where's the line of, hey, this is just a fun family hobby and we make a lot of money doing it, or the, this is exploitation of my kids who don't have a say. They didn't have a say without doing a gumball machine in the room. He had to come home from school and just be in the video. And if he doesn't, well, he doesn't have a choice. That's how they make their money. Which would be different from a typical family household where it's like, Rob, you better wash the dishes. You know, nobody's financial future is backed up if you don't wash the dishes. Yeah, not. and then when your main source of income is coming from your children like you kind of have to spoil them and do whatever they say They're like the boss at that point. What does that do to the kids personality and or character? Well, you don't have to work for anything But then it's messed up because then I guess people that live paycheck to paycheck if you could have an unlimited amount of money That's what the goal would be right right you always want to get to a point where you have financial freedom He's already had that it causes him to maybe become a terrible person There's something about not getting handed everything immediately and actively having to learn that you have to work to get something yeah, yeah, you have to earn this i feel like the reason i'm not a complete like asshole whatever would be because i didn't really have all the things i wanted growing up and then i had to get a job and i had to eat
and food off people's plates when I was doing the busboy stuff because I was starving. And then you had to bust your ass for four years to make your own amount of money. And then I made it and I was able to appreciate everything that I had and where you were before. This kid's growing up in LA. We live a different lifestyle than they are living. So it's like, yeah, we have those morals set in our head. Like if we want this, we have to work for it. And you want to instill can't. that in your children too. Exactly. If you want something, he can get it today or tomorrow. Or Is this the value of things that mean anything? Yeah. They mean less, correct. It means less. How many toys or cars or games can you get when he's like, what's the point? I can get in. Well, I never had a TV in my room ever. I bought my own TV for my room for the first time in my life when I was, what, 22. Damn. And there's this concept of in like Venice, Italy, they don't let you feed the pigeons. If you feed it pizza all day, whatever, and it goes back into the wild, it won't know how to forage for its own food and then it will die. Mm. If you spoon feed and baby kids, whatever, and give them whatever they want, whatever, and then they get out in the real world, but what does that even matter when he's got enough money? So why would he have to work for anything? It's like you don't get the excitement. There's no value in anything. Like, I remember Christmas time opening gifts like, oh my gosh, I got a cell phone or I got this or I got that. What is Christmas time for him now? It's Christmas every day for this kid. And is that a fundamentally bad thing? I think, yes. I think so. Because then when you get put into social environments, you're not going to relate to other people. You can only hang around people that live your lifestyle. Correct. Because yeah. when people are talking about, oh, I have this to pay or I have to do this, this here they're like, Say to that person, I have everything. And who knows how the parents are raising the kids outside of YouTube, but it's like, it's hard to see anything other than this. When you're uploading every single day, it's like, what is the off time look like at home? And what happens if little Johnny says, please not today. Candy star. We haven't filmed in two weeks, let's go. The parents know that it's not a good thing, that we shouldn't be doing that, but what if we're getting 100K a month. But if the, these kids are clearly not over the age of 18, so technically don't the parents have complete say of what their child everything. has to do? And as no, long yeah, they can do whatever they want. Yeah. And they are. <laughs> and they're probably telling him this is the right thing. That's why he's ready to do these fake expressions. He doesn't even think it's bad. He's like, wait, this is what mommy and daddy want me to do. And the kids don't know any better. They he's, only he's know trained. what they know. And it wouldn't work without the kids. It's a family channel. It's I don't even think they can take an extension of themselves outside of that age. Because if I was his age, 10, 11, or whatever, getting all that, I'd be like, what else we got to do to get more of this? There's things as a kid that you do that teach you certain lessons in life that are helpful in the future. There you go. You know, You're getting hindered from a lot of the things I felt. A lot. I am all for becoming wealthy and everyone getting money and people not starving. Cause what do I want? No, they need to be a poor family. And they need no, they're not, yeah, not even that. Yeah, we're not even saying, cause we know they got money. They, yeah, yeah, they clearly, they clearly got money. That's where the problem comes. There are certain things in life that you learn only through experiencing. So if you never experience hardship ever, and then you're faced with it, it's going to be a bit more difficult to deal with it. Yeah, cause when you're older, you can't go crying to mommy and daddy when something happens. Correct. Cause you're now an adult, dude. He has to live on his own. Does he know how to do all these basic things? Was he taught certain things? I have things? enough money to pay people to just do it though. And I guess so, but it is a little sad though. If he doesn't have the money where he doesn't have to do a damn thing and can pay people, that's still sad because damn. And can you blame him? You can't blame him because that's all he knows. And he has more money than all three of us combined. This is just making me think of too much of anything is bad. Absolutely, yeah. When it comes to extremes of things, like if you are extremely poor, that's bad. Extremely rich comes with a whole new set of problems. More extremes. money, more problems, right? Mm -hmm. While a poor family has a whole handful of issues, I can't even imagine what a rich family and all what that does. That's what we're talking about here. And it's when you're being fake online, what is it the real life then? It's like you don't really know how people are because everyone knows the royalty family as whatever they put out. But everything they put out is all a persona. Yo, hey, this is what we're doing today. So how are they in real life? What does that do to the child's personality and development as they get older? I already know that that should already been fucking with me and I only became on YouTube for, I don't know, since I was 18. And you know, they're getting fan love, they're getting all that stuff. That messes with you. I mean, look at Justin Bieber. Received a whole bunch of wealth and fame, whatever, and it messed him up. Well, I had another thought of like the pressure that he's this famous little kid, and then what happens when he's older and he doesn't get any of this anymore because he was only a child star. Well, there you go. Does he feel depressed? He's super rich though. He doesn't want a candy store room anymore. <laughs> People aren't coming up to him. It's not the same. His little brother grew up. And then mom and dad are just living off in Bora Bora by themselves. Thanks for everything. And he's like, uh, what do I do now? There's a reason that child actors, child stars become depressed later on. It's like, because uh, all that stimulus and dopamine and all that reward center, it messes up with your reward center in your brain. He has to do this for daddy and mommy here too. But like, what does that do to him? 
and we won't know, and only they will know how things transpire and manifest years down the line. If you were 10 and you saw that 3 million people were watching you every week, how do you process that as a kid? And right? you're getting gifted stuff and candy stores this and this and that every single week. Can you I'm assuming this guy's on Instagram, right? Okay. The mom got 6.1 million. Bruh. Holy shit! Dad got 818k. Damn, dad not popping. The kid got 845,000 followers. When you're that big, you're not even a normal kid anymore. You're not. They keep giving away six iPhones. <laughs> so it's a brand at this. They're, they need to keep up with the brand. What happens is, are right, you getting all this thing and then what happens when it slows down and goes away or you get older and you are out of the limelight? That's what I'm saying. It destroys people. That's I'm gonna get destroyed when I don't have clout anymore. Please keep giving me clout for the next <laughs> few years. He could be super rich, but without that clout now, he was used to both. I feel like that happens with actors too. Like yeah. I'm sure they're super well off. Then new actors, the new guy, this and that. Does it hurt you a little bit? Like, ah, uh, I can never go back. My time is over. The fans of this kid now, you might not be fans of him when his fans get older. That's why celebrities become depressed. You have so much money. How could you be depressed? How could you be sad? You have everything. You Do you think the parents are preparing him for that though now? Everything could be all fine and dandy and they could all be good. Who knows? But from what we're seeing, like. They're not even thinking about that. It's like, we're in the moment. We got to turn the house into a pumpkin tomorrow. I don't I'll, care. I would <laughs> like to have as much money as them. And maybe even now, I feel as though I have the emotional maturity to understand what comes with a lot of money and this whole family same thing, whatever. But yeah, do these kids know? I'll see his reaction at least. Let's see, let's see. <laughs> All right, on the count of five. You got a Gucci ring on or something? Five, four, three, two, one. Why should you do better than other YouTubers, yeah. right? He knows what to do. And we got customers coming soon. Okay? The faces. So prepare yourself. I'm excited. Let's go. Let's All right, go. I'm gonna go call the people to come over, and uh, we're gonna. <laughs> the baby there. My favorite. My favorite. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Go ahead. Go oh, ahead. Oh, you know I love this. Oh, you just know I love this. You know I love fondue, mom. <laughs> Bro, you got a whole chocolate fountain in your room. Oh, they're here. They're here. The oh. Come on in. Okay, so I get it, I get it. Get these? They look older than his son. Yeah, I don't know where they found them. Now you got the neighbors acting like this too. Uh, all right, all right, just chill, take it easy. The candy store. Okay, the girl in the back way too old to be here. That must be their cousin. <laughs> okay, so okay. Yeah, I gotta be. Fun's room. Oh, no, hold up. Wait, wait, wait. Let me play. Bro, you see the flex of all the plaques on their whole oh, wall. Diamond. They got that fucking diamond play button. God damn it. Wait, wait. Let me play. One person at a top way. Look at that modern house. It's a legit candy store. Do you guys have money? Why do all these kids look rich as fuck? They came with no money. There's no. You guys came with no money? What do you money? What do you money? Check your pockets. Yo, kids. I don't have any money. I'm 13. Money. We need your money. Give me your pockets. Next up, buying everything our one-year-old baby touches. This is what YouTube has become. Look, this child right now doesn't even look like he or she can speak. Everything is who can do the most extravagant, the biggest, that's the all you craziest. craziest. Think of a crazy idea. Everything our one year old fucking touches, we'll buy it. Like you don't have to include the one year old. Then you just film your one year old crawling around all day. Are you ready to go shopping? <laughs> Today we're doing whatever you touch, we'll buy it, okay? It don't understand English. <laughs> we're bored and we need to want to spend money today. We have too much money. Can we pick something out, one year old? You ready to go shopping, we man? Can you shut the fuck up? Oh, oh, here we go. Look at that house. Bruh. Whoa. Merry Christmas. Enjoy the show. If it was a channel with just the mom and the dad, it probably wouldn't work. Whatever you touch, we'll buy it, okay? You can literally buy whatever you want as long as you touch it, okay? Is that wrong to do? This is what people are clicking for. Baby has no say. Yeah, I would say there's a little bit of it that is wrong. 
I, all you're doing is spoiling it. How could you be a feel, bad person for spoiling a baby? And it's your kid, so you can do whatever you want. I don't know, sir, but it feels weird to me. But he's the rich one. Who am I? Yeah, my thing is like, okay, Jeez. yeah, put your family on the channel, get them whatever they want. But how they act in the videos. And this is just rich people shit. We'll just buy this and we'll buy that. Oh, they touched the iPad. Is that what the content turns into is, okay, what are we going to buy? The person has just money. You're not on this channel for the laughs. You're not thinking of a creative idea, really. Look You're how not. rich we are. Watch how we live. We're rich. Follow us. That's just a YouTube genre. Rich YouTube. That's what YouTube's turning into is no, who yeah. can spend the most money buying this, buying that for this person. You got to be rich if you want to start a, a successful YouTube channel. You got to have a brand, a team behind your thing, somebody editing your whatever, thinking of your ideas. And then when you have money, you can do anything. Yep. And you don't need a personality. And the rich don't get richer because people want to see people buy shit. I guess because if I was six years old, let me see what this one year old buys. Bye. All right, for right. You know what to do, bro. Right, Where you at? Let's get it. Let's get it. We got to get it. We got to They can buy everything in Target right now. Blue, pink and gray color. <laughs> <laughs> All right, put it in the cart. This is going to be a workout for you today. They're going to trash that after the video. Mm -hmm. oh, he's going for more. He's going for. No. Oh, he wants that. We got to get it. We got to get it. He like, what kind of challenge is this? Like, the baby will touch anything. He touched it. He wants it. Okay. All right, guys, let's keep on moving. Let's keep on moving. Money. He's shopping right now. He's shopping. Oh. oh. Gotta get it. He touched it. That's he not the one. It. He touches it, he gets it. Yep. Oh my God. Well, these are things you can do when you have tens of millions of dollars. All right, what else is he gonna get? What else? What else? What else? Yeah, they don't think about money, like how much something is. You already got one. You already got that, bro. One you know, they have a lot of money, and I'm sure they would buy a bunch of nice things. Once you're on YouTube, you gotta crank it up times 10. Oh. Not everything the baby touches, we gotta buy. As opposed to, we'll just spoil your kid with a bunch of toys and right. do whatever they want. That's what I'm saying. It's weird, though. The kid's getting the toys, but they're also exploiting them to get people to watch. Watch it. There has to be a way to be rich and have a lot of money and get a lot of money from your views without having to push it in every video now like, oh yeah, we're rich. But that's what sells. Correct. Is being rich and having the nicest clothes and having the nice trampoline park in the backyard and the candy store in the room. I think just having morals is just not a thing anymore. Who cares about morals when you gotta make more money? Me personally, I would like to have an ounce of like, when I go to bed at night, be like, you know what? I'm happy with what I do. I can look back at this. I can show this to people and be like, yeah, this is me. And that's my personal thing. Most people, or maybe not most people, but a lot of people don't give a fuck. Yeah, I just feel like that is how YouTube is. Like people used to care a little bit more about what they put out and have more pride in their own work. Now it's like, okay, what can I do? I like the concept of when people see me out in public, they can go, oh, I love this, blah, blah, blah. And then I really go like, thank you, that's me. Oh, I love when your baby touched the, everything and you bought it. Yeah, like the dad's friends and the mom's friends. Like, oh, check out the new vid, our new upload. Yeah, they, their friends aren't watching their videos. Nope, uh, they, they know the business side of this and they're just like, yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah, what they're yeah. gonna do. That's how they make their money. The biggest question is, what does it do to the children? What does it do to the children? And does the way people make Make money matter. People make money through all types of terrible ways. People do illegal things. People do things that we would find morally unjust. If it's not you or if it doesn't directly involve you, then it honestly doesn't matter. If they're not hurting anybody by doing this, they're just a family filming it. We could comment about things all we want, like, oh, I don't think that's right or whatever. Or how's a kid gonna act or anything? They don't care. Uh -huh. They got the money. They, they'll worry about that later. <laughs> what do you guys think? I'm sure we have, everybody has their own opinions on this. I would love to hear. Yeah. And everyone's gonna be like, well, this is kids' content. Da -da -da. Well, we know that. I understand. That. We understand that. We're looking at more between the lines. Mm -hmm. We could have done any family channel. This just happens to be the one that we stumbled upon. The content of family channels. What does that do to kids? Is it just going to get crazy? You have to top I'm yourself and everything. I do not want to have to top myself on every video. Mm -hmm. And I feel like, yeah, if I had a family channel, I just wouldn't do it as crazy as this. Like, if, yeah. it, if it works, why wouldn't you have one? If I have a kid, I'm probably going to start a channel. You, yeah. your wife, and your kid, beautiful family. And your YouTube presence is still booming. Why not start? It's like you can do cool things with your family, display that, capture that. That. You can also keep living off that to help fund the kid and all Or that. do you do the Casey Neistat where you do your own videos and the kids are in it, but you censor their face like you don't show them. Mm -hmm. I don't think he still hasn't showed his kid's face or nothing. Wow. Well, when, when you do. do show it, there's a whole market for it. And you get on YouTube and you just crank everything up times 10. <laughs> Boom! Now everything you fucking touch turns to gold. At the end of the day, if they're happy making those videos, you know, they got the money, I guess we can't really say anything. Mm -hmm. What's y'all's thoughts on it? Would y'all watch our family channel? At the same time, so then our kids can grow up to be friends. And then we have our kids have a kids channel. And we do the whole thing together. We just take every single one of their video ideas and just do them do in it succession. Again. Let's all knock up a girl right now. Okay. Right now. And if you guys like this reaction video, we have a second channel called Strawberry Park. That channel is filled with reactions, so head on over to Strawberry Park, and we're gonna keep doing reactions on the main as well. So, love y'all.